Hello friends, welcome to our channel Avian Education. So today in this video, we are going to discuss one of the most important topic that is your AC generator or we can say alternator. So in this video, we are going to see and how it works, its working principle, construction and how our AC generator use AC power. So AC generator. So as we all know, AC, alternating current, is a current which changes its direction at a regular interval of time or we can say that uh, current which constantly changes direction and intensity so as you can see in the figure it increases its value at a definite rate from zero to the maximum positive strength and decrease back to zero similarly in the opposite direction also it increases to the maximum negative value and again decreases to zero so ac generator can be defined as a machine that changes your mechanical energy into electrical energy in the form of alternating current in the form of alternating current on an aircraft the mechanical energy to the generators is usually provided by the aircraft engines now the working principle of ac generator so basically jo hamara ac generator hota hai ye work karta hai on the principle of electromagnetic induction now what is the principle of electromagnetic induction which is very easily explained by faraday law and says whenever there is a change in magnetic flux linked with a conductive coil then there will be an induced emf and in a closed circuit due to that induced emf or potential difference induced current will show now the construction of ac generator so ac generator consists two magnets and a conductive coil which is made up of copper or we can say armature which is placed between the magnets and a slip rings and brushes carbon brushes now the working of ac generator how our ac generator works and how it produces alternating current so first when the coil or the armature rotates in the magnetic field then there is a change in magnetic flux which is linked with the conductive coil and due to that changes our emf is induced and in a closed circuit due to that induced emf or the potential difference induced current will flow jaise ki humne padha tha principle of emi mein now ab hum padhenge dekhenge ki hamara jo ac generator hai wo kaise alternating current ko produce kar raha hai so as you can see in the figure there are two position position 1 and position 2 so as you can see in the position 1 armature is parallel to the magnetic line of force since it cut no line of force hence the induced voltage in position 1 is zero now the armature again start to rotate and reach to position 2 and in position 2 as you can see the armature is perpendicular to the magnetic lines of force and cut a maximum number of lines of force so the induced voltage in position 2 is maximum similarly in position 3 and position 4 again in position 3 as you can see the armature is parallel to the magnetic lines of force hence it cut a minimum lines of force so the induced voltage over here in position 3 is minimum and similarly in position 4 again armature is perpendicular to the magnetic lines of force hence cut a maximum lines of force then your induced voltage over here is maximum similarly position 5 as you can see armature is parallel to the lines of force hence no emf will be induced okay so by examining the sine wave we have seen that voltage is zero when a loop is in vertical position and the voltage is maximum when the loop is in horizontal position as the loops continue to turn we find that voltage is maximum at 90 degree and zero at 180 degree and again maximum at 270 degree and zero at 360 degree okay so the value of an induced emf depends upon three factors number 1 the number of wires moving through the magnetic field lines number 2 the strength of the magnetic field number 3 the speed of rotation okay so thank you everyone see you in the next video